Uh, in case you missed it earlier, sources have confirmed to Fox Sports' Bob Pockris that Brad Kozlowski will move to Roush Fenway Racing next year as a driver and co-owner. We did ask RFR and Kozlowski for a comment, but neither side has confirmed the move is official. This is a big deal. Why? Yeah, when Bob Parker says it, it's true. I mean, we know it's <laughs> yeah, official, but yeah. yeah, I think it's a big deal because if you look at Roush Fenway, they have been a powerhouse. They haven't been lately, and now they need that elite driver. They've, got, they've gone out here now and made a deal with Brad Keselowski, and he is that guy. He can bring a tremendous amount to that, to, to that team and that company. If you look back at Tony Stewart with Stewart Haas Racing, he did the same thing, and they went on to win a championship, and I think that's probably what they're thinking about here with Brad. I don't think he's finished winning championships. And I, and I think timing is so important with this. You know, you look at, at Roush Fenway Racing, I think they're a little bit on the upswing. And then mm -hmm. you look at the next generation race car, the, the slate will be clean. All these race teams will have the opportunities to build these cars and figure out what makes them tick. And then Brad, you know, he, he's confident. He, he's a NASCAR champion and he might be ready for something fresh. So I think a combination of all those things may be the, the perfect, you know, the timing to bring them together and and get to get Roush back in victory lane. Yeah, the word timing, right? When, when you have something like this happen so early in the season, obviously then that two car is going to be vacated, right? And because you can start to kind of get things in motion to see how your team's going to look next season. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good head start for Brad to start thinking about that. And now, now that it's out there, it's not something that he has to, you know, be worried about every week when the people talking about it because now it's here. But I think when he gets to that next-gen car, there's going to be a lot of things that he'll help the team work through. And I, that's one, he's one of those thinking type, type drivers and he's going to bring a lot of that you know that expertise and the way he thinks through a race car and that's going to yeah. be needed with that new car yeah brad has not commented on this but he did take to social media and uh it's part of our social garage tonight take a look this is exactly what he tweeted uh logs on twitter <laughs> this is his this is his statement right here <laughs> he's just kind of bagging up and waiting for everything to happen in front of him yeah don't uh, don't ask me about that this weekend <laughs> uh but I, i'm sure they'll have I'm a sure lot. nobody will no a one's going to ask of you no at all we'll wait, but you know, that, it, it could be a fun deal. Uh, I think somebody will be asking about uh, this pretty quick. Yeah, he goes out, he gets the pole, maybe wins the race. It's all they're going to be asking yeah. him this weekend at Pocono because, of course, it's a big deal. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.